Old Cotton Hall can clearly be seen on the first published Ordnance Survey map of 1848. It was said to be demolished in the late 1850s and a new farmhouse built on the same plot. The farmhouse was smaller and a little bit to the south of the original hall. In April 2000, Oxford Archaeology North was commissioned to carry out an archaeological survey on a proposed development site at Cotton Hall. The report is dated May 2003. Their location map shows the survey area to be the Great Intact Field close to the present Cotton Hall farm. The survey was to investigate the possible medieval moat of Cotton Hall in the northwestern corner of the field. Also, to investigate the earthworks visible on air photographs which might be the remains of Ridge and Furrow earthworks, and the place in the Great Intact Field where these musket balls and clay pipes had been found by the farm's residents, believed to indicate the possible site of a civil war or a Jacobite skirmish. A former owner of the farm, Mr Cummings, described how, in the 1950s, he had ploughed out hummocks in the field, which are believed to have been the remains of medieval ridge and furrow earthworks. Today, from above, there are still obvious lines of something in those fields. The ancient oak, the large oak tree at the northern boundary of the site, was already protected by a tree preservation order in 2003, and the Oxford report suggests that legend associates it with the search for and execution of refusing recusant Catholics in the mid-17th century. This is a reconstruction of what the old Cotton Hall may have looked like and is credited by Oxford to another survey and study of old Cotton Hall published in 1985. It was undertaken by a group of local history and archaeology students at the University of Liverpool the group led by historian Dorothy O'Hanlon. They were also looking for evidence of a medieval moated site on land that at that time was part of the Central Lancashire Development Corporation's plans for development. Away from the actual hall site, this study group was looking at wider land use in Cotton. The group surveyed fields to the west of Cotton Hall, then under pasture, in which earlier ridge and furrow ploughing marks could still be seen. On this illustration from the O'Hanlon study, these fields lie to the south of Woodfield Farm, Cotton Lodge and Merrytree Farm. On the 1838 tithe map, they are the fields called Great Field, Pasture, Cotton and Three Nooks. This photo from the study shows the Great Field with its ridge and furrow marks visible in 1981. Today, those fields of ploughing lie in this area of modern cotton. The 1985 study also made survey of ditches and earthworks to the southwest of the farmhouse and barn, in the area close to the southwest corner of the Great Intact Field. These may have been fish ponds associated with Cotton Hall, such ponds being common in medieval manors. The 1985 study tells us that the large stone barn close to the west of the hall was built in the 1700s and was later extended. As well as this whole reconstruction, the study also includes this 1838 tithe map, which we saw earlier. The position of the barn buildings on different maps allows us to see that the old hall was a little closer towards the site of the ancient oak pub than the present farm, and so visitors today may well be eating and drinking in what once were the hall gardens. <laughs>